Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail. This will be part 105 of our Let's Play. Now, I sort of went back and didn't immediately like run and I dropped down the hole and everything and it, you can't progress until you talk to Aiden and tell him that the Faceless Invasion is coming. And also it's worth noting that as uh, Jean-Luc Picard pointed out, if, uh, if I don't want to attack the Faceless here, I just don't. I mean, I assume they're going to attack me, though. Is kind of what I was getting at, but... I don't know. Guess we'll find out. I'll defend myself, but I'm not going to go and attack them if I don't have to. I'm, uh, I'm kind of assuming these... Chortus can sort of handle themselves. Like, there's only five of them. There's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Chortus. And Aiden. So. I want to say they'll be okay. Huh. I'll turn my shield on and just go over here. Because are they actually enemies? Okay, so they are actually enemies. So I might have to attack them. But I'm kind of hoping that the Chortus will deal with them before I get there. Oh wow. What was that? Oh, it was a Molotov. It didn't look like a Molotov. Also, I <coughs> apologize if you hear my dumbass sniffling and carrying on. Apparently, today's a hay fever day. So, you know, that's gonna happen. Oof, that's a, that's a hefty hit. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and let them... I'm just gonna sit here and let them sort it out. I wonder if there is an actual timer here, or... Whether they just have to die or something. I don't know. It's not a very strong sniper rifle you got there, buddy. Well, I guess Centaurs probably just, uh... Probably just have very good damage resistance. Did it shoot me then? I think he did. I don't think it was on purpose and he just missed. Okay, it seems like the faceless just keep coming. Oh, I want an augmented rat out. Uh, I'm gonna just go over here. I'm gonna regret this because they're gonna kill like all the shortists. And uh, it'll just be me and Aiden left. And I was about to say that, like, wasn't the median here somewhere? But yeah, he's there. So I take it back. It'd probably be median Samuel and Aiden would still be there. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely on the side of the Faceless, like... Chortus just seem... insane. Partially or entirely. I like how I can just hear it off in the distance. Also, that uh, elevator is so loud. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, yeah, I see, okay. So there's lights on the side of the elevator. Gotcha. Okay, I see it now, I see it. No, I mean, I'll just keep standing here. So we just have to survive like six turns. Yeah, seems like Aiden will be fine. A, he's got a ton of health, and B, it's very unlikely that he's gonna die. I think.
he'll almost certainly just do that thing where, uh... Sorry, he'll almost certainly do that thing where he just gets to, like, no health and just stays alive. I would imagine. Because he just don't give a fuck. I know this is, like, super compelling uh, gameplay footage to watch all this, but... I uh, know, I don't want to attack the faceless. Also, Aiden, you either have... No, he resists a ton of damage. Holy crap, I was going to say that he uh, either has, like, an actual ridiculous amount of health, or he just resists everything. And he does. Also, you can really shoot a lot with energy pistols. Maybe it's about the same as regular pistols. I don't know. I can't say I've done pistols that much. Does he resist that? Surely not. No, no, he doesn't. You can't resist it. I'm going to move up here a bit so you can see. Oh, God. Okay, I didn't realize there were like a million up there. Look at them all. I don't know what happens after this, either. Like, I can't imagine they just leave. Maybe Aiden leaves and we have to kill the rest of them? I... I don't know. I love how they just have, like, the actual doctors. Oh, and they're wearing the Plague Doctor mask. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. But yeah, I love the fact that they have, like, doctors that go around healing them and giving them chemicals and shit. Like, it's not a... You know, most times they all have it. I thought he was shooting me for a minute there. Yeah, I'm amazed that Aiden just resists, like... What is that? Pretty much 50% of the damage. No, shit, it's way more than that. That resists tons of damage. Okay, so this should be the last one. Also, the Chortis are absolutely losing this. There's a lot of faceless that we still can't see because they're over here. Yes, and you did just set yourself on fire, you genius. Even Rasafore armor seems to resist like 50% of mechanical damage. Thereabouts. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't have reloads. Also, you're bugged out a bit there. Funny if Aiden died just here, just like, and that's how the story ended. <laughs> Aiden died. Holy shit, he did die. Holy shit, he actually died. What? Okay, uh, Aiden's not the end boss. Okay, well, look. I could go and search Aiden's body, and I kinda wanna. Do I have adrenaline? I have five. Oh, I'm gonna risk it. Wow, that hurt quite a bit. Uh, I have short. This medallion is generally worn by military personnel. These two short. Ah, elevator key card. It's not a very good shield. Yeah, no, I'm probably gonna die here now. Damn it! 
Wow, I can't believe he actually died. I thought he'd be invincible for this part. Yeah, they, they're absolutely shooting me now. At least some of them are. But hopefully if I don't get the sort of ire of everyone, I should survive to get to the elevator. Because they have a few chorters to get through before they attack me. I wish there was like a way I could just like side with the faceless here, but I guess I don't really trust anyone, so... Not really that surprising. Wow, uh, the Chortus are pretty fucked in my opinion. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. You know, the Chortus seem like fucked. I guess the only one left would be like, what, Monsignor, whatever name, whatever her name is. If she's still alive, I can't remember if she is. Because, yeah, they've lost a lot of their upper leadership. They've lost, like, the acting head of preservation. They've lost... They lost Aiden. Literally the boss. That's messed up. Hmm, classic. Of course. Of course it would stop. Well, look, I will... Go through there in just a minute. Let me just recharge everything, because I'm sure this is going to be absolute hell on earth. Luckily, the elevator got sabotaged while close to an auxiliary tunnel. There's no telling into what sort of danger it might lead you. You've been descending for quite a while now, and you're sure you're close to deep caverns. Yeah, I'll crawl through to the other side. What choice do we have? I don't know if you can go back up, though. There must be a way. Ooh. That's a hard save from the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and stealth my way through here. Can't go this way? Oh, can go that way. Okay, that's a dead end though. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy to just uh, sneak my way through here. Crawlers, I get the feeling, are probably going to be the least of my concerns here. That's weird. Never seen that stuff before. I'm just gonna go ahead and not stand on that. Okay, it's getting real thick here. Ah, now I have to walk over it, so what's it going to do to me? No? Nothing? Okay. No, doesn't do anything, apparently. No, paranoid for nothing, I guess. Games train me to be paranoid. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Lots of walking. Like, just still walking. Oh, here we go. There's some light at the end of the tunnel. And some sort of weird pustule looking thing. Okay. I fully expect Deep Cavern to be weird. Because there's been so much build up over the entire length of the game, and it's like, you go into deep caverns, you go into deep caverns, you go into deep caverns. And I'll admit, it already feels different to, to just the regular thing. The, the regular map. Ah, oh, good, there is a deep caverns map. Excellent. Well, obviously I'm going to check inside this building. Oh wow, it wasn't even locked. Holy shit! It's six again. Uh, six, I... Look, I will come out and talk to you in a minute. 
I promise. But just let me look through this. I mean, there was literally nothing good there. Okay, I'm not scared of six. Probably should be. A rumbling voice speaks to you once more. You made it. Good. What is going on here? You must speak. I've been waiting for you. Well, if we're going to talk, can we start by telling me your name? What do I call you? Ram Umbra. Why are you... Why were you waiting for me, Ram Umbra? We find ourselves in the same events. The Institute and here. These are not coincidences. As I connect events I have witnessed, I wonder in how many more of those we pass by each other, unaware that the other one was nearby. Uh... You two want that cube, right? I remember we spoke about it at the Institute. Yes, but for a different reason than you. Uh, what does this deal with that cube? Most of what happened recently seemed to re somehow revolve around it. Your questions are sidetracking the conversation. Listen, and I will tell you what you need to know. The artifact, it is in possession of what you know as Chort. Chort must be destroyed. The artifact returned to the tunnelers, faceless. Refer to them as you wish. They are not your enemies. You share more common goals than you had ever thought. And it is I who needs to do all this? It appears so. You will play an important part in Chort's destruction, or even outright destroy it on your own. All events which have led to this one here have produced a setting, a frame. Your deficient language prevents me from conveying the meaning properly, in which the only outcome is for you and Shaw to meet. The only possible way for you to create an exit out of deep caverns is to destroy Chort. I have contemplated it greatly, considered possibilities you are not remotely aware of, and I inferred no alternative. <laughs> uh, if you aren't sure dead so badly, why don't you kill it yourself? That is not my event. I find it difficult to explain. As I have stated, but it is something that must occur, and you are the main participant. Of course, I could be wrong about you, and this frame ends this frame ends up being your grave. This conversation meaningless to you and detrimental to me. The more I ponder the events which led you here, however, the more I am confident that what I'm telling you is correct. Let me get this straight. You want Short killed, and I'm somehow destined to do it. You want the artifact returned to the Faceless, but you somehow cannot interfere. Why are you still here, then? To make thing to make certain these things occur. My presence here was not related to Chort originally, but as I learned of it, of its name, it became more important. Most important. Okay, tell me about Chort and what one would have to do in order to defeat it. It is an entity, an embodiment of something that must not be allowed to prevail. I cannot tell you what that is, for I do not know yet myself. Perhaps I will have these answers ready for some other event. His arm extends, pointing towards the tunnel. This way leads to Chort's domain. If you step into it, you will be prone to its influence. Your fragile mind will be exposed to violation. Far to the north, you will see an entangled gate. Behind it lies Chort. Details of Chort's destruction I do not know. After it is done, again, the artifact must be returned to the Faceless. Uh, well, whatever. I'll do as you ask. It serves both me and you, it seems. But I'm going to need a bit more information if I'm going to do it. I will share such information. You seem to know the Faceless well. What can you tell me about them? We cooperated, and I have visited their home not too far from here. They are not your enemies, but mistreat them and they will become such. Whatever your personal disposition towards the Faceless, the artifact must be returned to them. What are they exactly? They are more similar to your kin than you might think, and they are even connected to mine. Respect them, and it will serve you well. He becomes somewhat distant for a moment, but soon continues. Is there anything else you need to know? Uh, are there any other people in the deep caverns, besides Chortus, I mean? I was told that a man was spotted relatively near Hollow Earth multiple times. 
The Faceless described him as one with a chaotic mind. He is the only one of your kin that could be found here, as far as I know, excluding the Chortus. Where can I find this man? His exact location is unknown to me. It was unimportant. I do recall that he was noticed in Faceless territory, slightly north of their checkpoint at the eastern exit from Hollow Earth. I know nothing more than that. Where can I find supplies around here? Speak to the Faceless. They'll give me supplies? Possibly. That is not what I meant, however. There is a section of abandoned storage buildings in their territory, east of Hollow Earth. A resourceful person such as yourself should be able to find something usable there. I'm ready to go. Good. It's time for me to leave too. We will see each other after Chord has been destroyed. I uh, hope you know what you're talking about. I'm off now. Very well. I wish you success. <laughs> oh good, and he teleports. Excellent. Did he teleport in short? No, he jumped down the hole, right? Okay, well... He said through the tunnel, so let's not go through the tunnel. <laughs> so you've got what? An entrance there, entrance there, entrance here. Okay, we'll go north first, because I think we're closest to the north wall, yeah? Uh, actually, we're kind of the same distance, but whatever. We're going this way. Oh, this looks nice. A latcher. Let's kill it. Uh, okay. So they kind of seem like they're gonna poison me. Might use a crossbow because I got a million crossbow bolts. Do they? Do they give me anything? Gremlin stool. What do you do? Acquire gremlin stool. Okay. Spirit mushroom. Uh, alright. They're biological. So let's see what we can get out of them. Uh, muscarine. I don't think I need that for anything. And spirit poison. I don't think I need anything from that. Now, I'm going to do something else too. I'm going to check if I walk into these clouds of particles whether it, like, does anything to me. Yes, it does. It gives me spore infection, which does what? Health reduced by 2%. Okay. Oh, wow. You seem... hefty in strength. I put my shield up. I kind of blocks it. Okay, they don't hurt me a ton, but they hurt me more than I want. All right. Uh, I feel that was a lie. Kind of looks like they just straight up killed me. Okay, melee might be the way to go. Okay, I can stun them. Uh, red dream mushroom, crystallized spore, okay. That's another one right there, right? Okay, seems like I'm just gonna get the, uh, our remains. Ooh, okay, so I can get gizzard enzymes off latches. Actually, that makes sense. I guess latches are probably what? They're probably the same thing as the, uh, borers. They're, they're the meta... Psymorphs, or whatever they are. Okay, I'm just gonna pick all these mushrooms. I don't know how it really helps me, but you know, I'm gonna take it all. Let's keep going this way. See, now this is the <clears throat> this is the kind of weirdness that I expected, though. Like, I, I this is what I want. Okay, Gyromitrin. Right, that's something I'd say all the time. Biofusive scoby, a symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast that can be used in concoction in concocting regenerative medicine. Okay. I don't think I have anything that requires that. 
but maybe I'll find something. Well, I assume I will. And I'm also guessing it's probably going to be something strong. Because if it wasn't something strong, why would they not have given it to me already? Yeah, so I mean, I can do the same thing as normal, I'll just keep incapacitating them. See? Easy. Alright. I also need to eat an eel sandwich, because I haven't done that for a bit. Actually... How much space have I got? Okay, I got like 30... pound kilo units. How much health do you have? Okay, you have a lot still. Okay, spore turrets don't seem to be a massive threat. Because I can just hit and run these things. God, now I hit all the time at like 50%, but when I get 80% I miss twice in a row. What a joke. And now that I brought attention to it. How many crossbows do I actually have? Yeah, I still got 256. I'm always sitting there and I'm like... <sighs> I must be running low, must be running low, and then I actually look at it and I'm like, never mind. I'm, I'm not at all running low, I have like a million. Is it actually going to come and attack me? Seems like it was trying. They really don't drop many uh, gizzards. Oh, you're a chomper, not a spitter. Yeah, see, I don't really need to... I'd say if it's 1v1, I don't need the power in the Power Fist. Just because I don't need to kill things quickly, right? Uh, I'll just take all this. Oh, wait! It's grown back! Oh, that's rude. That's very rude. Something attacking me? Okay, there's rubble up there. Is there a way? Okay, I can go down that way, but let's go all the way up to the wall, and then we'll go uh, west. So go... Wait, which way is north? North is... Wait. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, compass. I have one, I know I do. It's staring me right in the face. There. Yeah, sorry, so we'll go south. We'll, we'll go all the way to the west wall, and then we'll go south. Seems like a way better way to do it. Okay. Oozing shrooms. Give me spore infection. That's fine. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Ooh, that hurts a lot. Okay, I'm gonna dirty kick you. Or I'm gonna miss and die. I can't. Uh, I guess we'll do this, then that, then. Yeah, because I really can't afford to be, uh... There we go. I just gotta stop. When I get an incapacitate, I just need to stop immediately. Like, don't... Don't hope for a second one. Just go for the hill. Go for the kill. Finally, another... Is that two there? Yeah, there is. Kill it with fire. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Are they going to try and move? No, but they are feared, so they're not going to really do anything. 
They got a lot of resistance and mechanical damage, don't they? Yeah, they do. 44. Wow, they actually have like 50% resistance. attack once when they're close for whatever reason. Okay, spirit mushrooms. So we've got cave ears and stuff too, which is interesting. I'm guessing I can't go back though. Well, they kind of already said that in a way, but I guess they're serious, like, I, there's no way back until you finish the game. Because they've definitely sort of kitted this whole area out as if that was it. Like, you, you can't go back, you know. They, they've got everything you're going to need right here. You know? You, that, that's what I, the feeling I'm getting, anyway. So wait, do they activate... I thought they might activate if I if I attack the latches, but there we go. Yeah, I just gotta keep getting the incapacitate. When I don't get it, that's when I take damage. Definitely think I don't need the electricity at the moment, though. Like it's nice, it kills them quick, but long as I get incapacitates and stuns, I really don't need to kill them quickly. Uh, also, I am out of Molotovs. That's bad. Um, do I have any other grenades? Yes, I do. I have plenty. So let's just put some HE grenades, I guess. keep going this way, but it doesn't look like it leads anywhere. Which it should, because I'm on the edge of the map. There we go. The chompers aren't super scary. I mean, the bleeding kind of sucks. But... Spitters are way more dangerous. Like, the, the bleeding's not going to be the death of me unless I just fail. Like, unless I just continuously whiff again and again and again and again. Yeah, I wish I was still getting, like, meaningful XP here. It feels like you should be. Okay, I'm not in love with these, like, pixel... Okay. I got an achievement, but I don't know what happened. Am I dead? Guessing I'm dead. Guessing I got too much spore infection? Or I'm tripping balls. Or both. Okay. Oh, it actually takes me to unknown. That's... that's nifty. That's, uh, that's well thought out right there. Okay, but seriously. Yeah, I know. Just... get out of my face. Nice, good stun. Okay. At number four, I really need to just do a stunning kick. Spirit Mushroom. I don't really need cave ears, though. Oh, it's because there's a spore turret over there. 
Well, I don't really give a shit about that. Okay, so there is something to do with the spore infection that, like, I don't know, makes you trip balls. I'm guessing this is in my head. Just add a guess, like, purely because... It doesn't have a map entry. Unless that's a really good bit of program. Oh, okay, there's a spitter there as well. Didn't see you. Uh, four. Ah, shit, no, it's three. I should have done it. Two, three. Wait, that one's easy. Adrenal gland, don't mind if I do. Take this. Mushrooms, interesting. I'll just take that. Oh, crap. I was not ready for one to pop out there. Oh, that was a good incapacitate, though. So was that. Okay, there's three, so I should just do a kick and get the stun. Damn it. Yeah, not a, not a massive threat, though. Kinda dangerous, but... Okay, are you gonna trip me out again? Might just wait. Might just wait a bit. I like how they kind of admit that you have a lot of health, because they're like... Oh, we need to do something to reduce your health to make it a bit fairer on the enemies. Uh, Antidote, antidote, antidote. Will this work? No, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, I'm a bit annoyed that I wasted an antidote, but it's valuable information. Valuable, valuable information. Still no idea where I am. Hmm. Okay, I'm just waiting for this to burn off. If I go and fight the spore turret, is there anything over there? I don't think there is. So let's just go. Let's just go and maybe find out where we are. Nope. Still doesn't tell us. Okay, we are like really over time, so I'm just gonna just a little peek. Just got more spore infection. Just gonna go ahead and drop the stun straight away. God damn it. Dem, dem critical hits, though. Take this stuff. Okay, that's like some sort of... Floor anus. I mean, it's a square anus, but still. It's kind of floor anus looking thing. Yeah, I figured you might be a real one. Two, three, four, five. Oh, incapacity on the last one. You beauty. I almost wish that the Power Fist had like a, a mechanical durability and an electronic durability so that, you know, if if you weren't using the electronics, like the electronics wouldn't sort of get used up, but it would make it a little bit complex. I'll, I'll happily admit. Bloody spore turret. I'll bet you I can't stun it, can I? Well, it doesn't matter because I don't have enough thing. Okay, it missed. Good. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, you can't stun it. Kind of what I figured. Would be more than a bit silly if you could. You know. Ugh, I was really hoping you'd die. Uh... Ooh, that hurt a lot. Okay, now I'm a little worried. I've never seen them do that before.
and for some reason I just cannot... Oh, I nearly died. Cannot get... an incapacitate, and I still have a bleeding wound. I'm probably dead here. Uh, ooh. Three turns. Risky plays. Just gonna have to try it. Oh good, the thing's- well, no, GG, I'm- I'm so dead. Like, I'm gonna bleed out immediately. Oh, maybe. 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 Holy crap, I think I managed to, like, rapidly wiggle my way out of that one. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, well, if there was a better place to end that episode, I don't know where it is. So, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to give any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so that I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.